And hello from the northeastern part of France. We're in the city of Lille for this game. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It is Lille, and they take on Toulouse. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And so the initial 11 for Lille. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And so the lineup for Toulouse. Well, they're going to make themselves very hard to break down. In this formation, the only way you can play is on the back foot. Hopefully, they try to counter-attack with pace and numbers. Otherwise, I can't see them scoring. And the match begins. Went in strongly, decisively. Wonderfully weighted pass. Big opportunity. Still a chance. Well, hit with ferocity when accuracy was required. Diakite. Jose Font. André. Chance to run at them. Jonathan David. And moving the ball nicely. Well, he's bound to be disappointed with himself. Not a great effort, Stuart. Well, the less said about that, the better. Not a good decision from him. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Adam Unas. Can he play it in? Is Miley. Can they take the lead here? Wonderful block. And a useful cross. Making sure nothing untoward happened. And possibilities here. He made it look simple, really. Can they trouble the opposition this time? But ultimately up a cul-de-sac. The pass could do damage. And the last touch off the defender, so a corner coming up. And there's the delivery. And I think it's fair to say the pressure from the defender put him off a bit. Continues his run. 
Adam Unas. And he read it well. This might be ideal for the counter. Diara. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Now sending it in. Oh, what's he gone and done? He's foiled them on his own. Bamba. This looks promising. Andre Gomes in the thick of things. Not comfortable in dealing with the ball played in. Being pressed hard. Nicely timed tackle. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Body on the line. A chance now with the corner. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. So the corner played into the box. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Adam Unas. Gomez. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Beautiful pass. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. And space to cross it. And giving the ball away. Well, Lille have had more of the possession, as you can see. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. Thumps clear. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. It is to be a throw-in. So, the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage. It... As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. On I will. They do pass the ball with authority. Could play it in. It's a neat move. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Well, following the clearance, it will be a corner. Let's see about the delivery. It might still be problematic. And I think the threat has been averted. This might be ideal for the counter. Oh, breezing past him. They could nudge in front. Well, it was a superb counter-attack, but no goal. Yeah, really good play. Won the ball back well and then countered with great speed. That deserved a goal. Diara, Silla. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And possibilities here. Giving the ball away. Oh, 
and an astute piece of defending. Bamba. Good movement. Oh, what an opportunity. Surely. A goal on the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, here's the replay, and I have to say, the keeper's got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor piece of goalkeeping. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Silla. Can they find a gap in the defence? But then the one that fails to hit its target. Can they trouble the opposition, Mr. And he's through here. A routine save. timing of the pass that little bit off no problems for the keeper Gomes Adam Unas options in the center and the referee blows for a foul Can they extend their lead? And slot it home! Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot. Well, here it is again. Great composure to send the keeper the wrong way before striking it into the opposite side. That's an excellent penalty. So, 2-0 now. Great challenge, he got nothing but ball. Well, Lille have had more of the possession, as you can see, and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Fine sequence of passes. And he did well to cut it out. So a throw in here. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, nicely cut out. Well, keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Ten minutes left for play. Ado Onaiwu. Oh, great defending. Good pressure high up the pitch. Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. Well, on the cusp of the final whistle, and the home side really. Oh, what a great chance this is, Derek. It's got to be. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. And a tidy tackle.
on Iwu. He's going forward well here. And let's give credit to the defending. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Absolutely, Derek. It was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, Stuart, he really has had a lot to say for himself out on the pitch. Well, he took his penalty with great confidence and I thought his general play was really good. He was really sharp today.